Hello friends, how are you? Today we are discussing about the protection of women from domestic violence. This is the act of 2005. And in this particular video, we are properly discussing about a relief available to the aggrieved party, which comes and how the uh, filing of petition can be done or the complaint application can be done under this particular law. So first of all, if you are new, I am requesting you to subscribe our channel. You have started watching this video particularly from Ashok Pandey. Now we are starting how to file a complaint under Domestic Violence Act. Now there are various sections, various sections where information has been given and the protection order is given under section 18 of this particular act. Now residential order has been given under section 19 of this particular act where section 20 is described and giving information about the monetary relief. What about the compensation orders that are properly described under section 22 of this particular act? Now the custody orders are defined under section 21 of this act. Interim and ex party orders are also there which are defined under section 23 of the act protection of women from domestic violence act 2005. First of all, if we discuss about something which is related to finance, which is, uh, uh, which is related to economy. So this can be considered under section 20, which is said that it is monetary relief. What is the meaning? This order can be shout to meet any expenses of women, which can be a monthly expense, which are the annual expense, which are if the custody of the children vested to women, then she can also entitle and claim the maintenance under this particular section 20 of the protection of women from domestic violence act. Now, this order can be shout to meet any expenses of the women may have incurred as a result of violence faced any type of violence which can include economic abuse, physical abuse, mental abuse, monetary or economic financial abuse as well as sexual abuse. So all type of violence to be done if the women force and come under this category, she can entitle to claim the monetary relief by the court under section 20 of this particular act. This may be include a payment of medical bills, any loss or belongings or monthly expenses. If child, then child expenses also including what the education fees of child. Now, second thing is married women or a, a women who is living in a nature of marriage can also claim a maintenance from her husband or male partner. The amount claim under this provision is take care as an actual expenditure incurred to a woman. So whatever the monthly expenses were there that all the expenses can be claimed from the court under section 20 where it is described under the monetary relief of this particular act. So this is one of the major factor where the relief is available to a woman who is a grief party who suffered a domestic violence from husband or in-laws or any of relative. So this all monetary relief are come under section 20 of this particular act. So other orders are also there like what the protection order is defined under section 18 residential order section 19 monetary relief as I have discussed under section 20 compensation order as described under section 22 custody orders if the children were there. So who is just taking care of the uh, children's that all the things are described in the section 21 of this particular act and interim and ex party orders were also there. Suppose that notice or the summon issue to husband he is not coming to court, he is not appearing before the court, then ex party orders to be granted. How it comes, I have explained in some different video. Interim applications were some different, different, different types of interval where the application is shouted by the women from the court. These all interim applications are decided and given under the provision of section 21 of the protection of women from domestic violence act. So what you like and what you want to say about the monetary relief as we discussed under this particular section of 20, you please let me know to the comment box. If you want to book an appointment, you can also go to the description box of this video where you can directly book an appointment to talk with me with regarding any your problem. Thank you very much for giving your precious, important, valuable time. We'll meet in next video. Thank you very much for watching us.